again from Fundi Kipusa in Mtwapa, Kenya. Our chop chop bike now converted into a complete ambulance according to the requirements of the people that they had when we were operated at first for two weeks in the local health center. Now we have a reclining seat which makes it actually much more comfortable for in particular pregnant women to go to the clinic. Easy to understand, yeah? So, my message to all bikers in the world is first of all one thing. This is my lucky helmet, guys. Hoppala. Here you go. So, if you have the vague idea that I find great fun in building 150cc Chinese whatsoever bikes, no, I don't. Yeah? But, as an ambulance, as a gift back to the community, for me as a petrol head and a bike designer. That is what I need to use. Why? This bike has a mechanic on every corner and a spare part shop in every kiosk in all of Africa. So it's the only bike we can use. No matter what speed, no matter what fun. I prefer BMWs otherwise. So, today we want to test the stability of the bike to the fullest. We leave my helmet here because I'm very much convinced that it's built in a stable way that we cannot manage to roll it over. We will see that in a second. Well guys, you see this little stunt, okay, let's assume we have 150 kg right now in the cart. Uh, that is Moses 19, let's say a pregnant, a really pregnant woman, and a nurse here. And we are on our way and we are in a panic and the road is narrow. Mark, our photographer, is also jumping in the side cart now, so we find a more severe road. Doesn't get any better, isn't it? Okay, guys, as you have seen. This Chinese little 150cc engine here, a Honda copy as we can all see, is uh, very capable actually. The dog loves it too. It's very capable, uh, not according to, I mean, a real biker standard, but this is not what it is. This is a device that can pick up a pregnant woman in, in a bush or in a go nowhere area and bring her to the next clinic to deliver safely giving birth to a healthy baby. We are going to give you footage from the clinic. There is some footage from the clinic we have, but it's some with drastic pictures that we don't want to use. If you are a biker somewhere in this world, you can help. You can help our idea and you can help this move. Not by building very expensive bikes, no, follow the rules here. I will do a brake test right now and you will see this thing is really a compromise in geometry. I do not have a brake on the sidecar and I have a very heavy sidecar. On purpose I made it into fully integrated pipe chassis to address the needs of being just strong and rigid. Speed is of essence for sick people, but a slowly moving sidecar is better than a walking pregnant sick person. Or a pregnant woman or a sick person. So, to say. so let me do a brake test for you right now so that you can see that with good experience and proper training, the machine is indeed very safe.
Come on, boy. So, the dog will be the G-Force meter. Okay, if the dog comes flying out of the car, that means it was a good break. Sit. first breaking I just let the side car go by its geometry. On the second one I helped it a little bit with my extended lead arm form. We watch that again. Self-breaking guys from 50 car mh It's a good strike and it's a good compromise. So, see you on that clip with pictures from the health screen. Thank you.